All right, y'all should be able to hear me now. Did I fix it? I, okay, I tried to do something where I could like record the stream and have the, uh, you know, I, try, I tried to set it so I could record the stream as well, which I, I was messing around with some of the uh, audio tracks that stuff were on. I wanted to keep them separated. Uh, and I, I kind of forgot that when you stream, you can only stream on one audio track. So if I want to record, I just didn't want to deal with a second OBS window. Thank you, kind sir. So it should be fixed. Yay. Apologies Finally for that. Catching um, some of Juve. I have to redo my thing for the VOD channel. I was talking to the VOD channel completely muted. So I got I to restart that now. Uh, okay. If you're on the VOD channel, we're playing New Vegas again. Uh, I let everybody on the Twitch channel know, at least by the Twitch stream title for the day. This will probably be the last stream that we do for maybe a week. Thank you, uh, I want to make sir. sure that I can get the project, the one inventory slot first episode make sure i can get that done and as good as it can possibly be uh it has to be done by sunday there's a sponsor sort of thing so it does have a deadline it has to be out at some point in march which last day of march is sunday and then we'll be back probably next monday i go to vegas we're playing new vegas i'm going to vegas next week uh for a bachelor party very much looking forward to it and then uh, I, I don't know what we'll do when we get back on Monday. But most important thing, I, wanted, I just want to make sure, you know, if one inventory slot is going to have a sponsor deadline, we make it as good as it can possibly be, which means I'll have to take a few days off of streaming. But we're going to uh, Thank you, Colin, have sir. some fun today. Pick Hello, up where we Bobby. last left off with this the new Vegas save. This is your reminder to get Juve something for our anniversary. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, Vodami. This is your reminder to get Juve something for our anniversary. Alex, you better get something good. Thank you, Colin. You only got a month. Juve, no need to worry. I'm here now. Can you hear those? Did I mess those up? I don't think I broke those. Uh, but give me two seconds. Let me get the actual game open. I'm going to be your background noise for playing Stardew Valley. Enjoy. How's your farm doing? What season are you in? Fritz, thank you for seven months. Alex, thank you for 11 months. Squizgard, thank you for seven months. Nerdy, thank you for seven months. Appreciate y'all. What's the plan this stream? We are playing Fallout New Vegas. Pretty much it. That's the plan. I have had, and you know what? I think it's because we have played a metric fuck ton of Skyrim. Thank like, we played a sir. lot of Skyrim. Like, a lot. And I think we've played so much that I'm really, really looking forward to doing some Fallout stuff. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. Every time we've taken a break from Skyrim and come back to it, I've had a blast. Every time we've taken a break from Fallout and come back to it, I've had a great time. Are you going to play Caravan? Absolutely, I'm playing Caravan today. I am, I've been looking forward to playing Caravan more than anything else in the game. That's all I care about. Give me uh, two seconds here, because I am. You probably can't hear the in-game audio. And now it's yeah, it's just gonna bring up. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, wait, no, you should be able to hear that. And then that. And then that. Should be able to hear that. Cheating on Bellatro with Caravan? I am. I know. I've been... I've been naughty. Bellatro's gonna be upset with me. I taught you how to play Caravan? I recommend the Caravan Tournament mod. It's really good and has some meta to it, too. Oh my god. Wait, is that a thing? Now, okay, does, does New Vegas not have... Or do I have to do do it through like the standard launcher? Can I launch this game in borderless windowed? I I probably can. It's Juven time. I, I I don't feel comfortable saying. It, it just feels it feels weird to use my name as a verb. Thank you for the hundred bits, Queen Remy. Good to see you. Uh, Caravan tournament mod. 
That sounds cool. You don't know anything about Fallout? Give it a, just play it. I don't, what do you got to lose? Do you have an Xbox? Do you have a Game Pass? You can play Fallout right now. Uh, oh, I am also, I'm going to record this. I am going to record this today. I don't know. Although I never record in one window. I never like record the stream itself. I always will like record the raw gameplay. You need ENB or another mod for borderless window. <laughs> I like the original look though. Yeah, sure, it's a little Thank drab, you, but I sir. like it. I have five gigs of storage left on my computer. Is it over for me? Uh, if you can get a, what's it called? A, um, an external SSD? I don't think it's over for you, if that's in your budget. Oh, my coffee is like cold. It sucks today. Jennifer Hart, thank you for the tier one. Holy Nubster, thank you for the prime. Uh, by the way, kind of surprised. Uh, it seemed like people were really excited that New Vegas was on the second channel. So an another reason, like, it it's great when something I'm having a lot of fun with also kind of resonates with people on the uh, second channel. That's always really great to see. It's very encouraging. At 11 a.m. on a Monday is crazy? Huh? It's 1 p.m. Thank you, kind sir. We operate on Midwest time here. It's my birthday today. Jackie, happy birthday. Everybody wish Jackie a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jackie. All right, that's enough. That's all you get. Because then people are going to start lying about it being their birthday. Hold on. I'm covering UI elements. Does this bother you all, or is this okay? Also, is it, why am I here? Oh, oh, I'm cheating. Cheating, cheating. We were not actually there. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet I think this is where we last were. I had to, I was fast traveling because I had to uh, get a thumbnail picture. Yeah, 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 Okay, all right, that makes more sense. I think this is right after we clapped Johnson Nash in Caravan, or is this before? What quest were we on? Wait a minute, no, we haven't even like, we definitely have not done everything that we can inside this building. If you're curious about our build, we are essentially running a dynamite build. Z like minimum intelligence, decent charisma, decent pretty much everything, and then dynamite. Asking decent questions, why are any, and why are you all here? Jennifer, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for gifting five. Very kind of you. And uh, Vernal Path, thank you for gifting one as well. Thank you, kind sir. Here, have a sub. Going back to playing Dragon Age. I kind of want to play the original Dragon Age. I want to play KOTOR. De I definitely want to play KOTOR one or two. Kind of leaning two, although I've played two a little bit more in the last few years than the first. Uh, I guess I've played them both a decent amount. My only issue with KOTOR is that whenever I play it and it's been a while, I'm like, I don't remember where I last left off. I'm gonna start a new game. And then I start a new game, and I know like every inch of the starting areas of those games, right? Like you do the tutorial in KOTAR 1, then you go to Terrace, then you go to the underground, and then you do some of the quests in the underground, you find Bastila. Everything after that feels very fresh. And with KOTOR 2, it's, um, you know, you do the mining facility, which takes quite a little bit. Then you end up on Telos. Then you do the Telos quest. And then you go from the Telos quest and you do the Mandalorian planet. Fun. 
Thoughts on the Dragon's Dogma 2 controversy. All right. All right, fine. I'll dive in. I'll dive in. I posted something on Twitter about this. Um, but uh, essentially, multiple things can be true. And everybody in gaming discourse has to just, like, chill the fuck out a little bit and stop being so reactionary. Because multiple things can be true. A. Microtransactions in a single-player game are fucking dog shit and should be ridiculed all the time. B. Microtransactions in a single-player game absolutely can compromise a game's gameplay loop and the design, the core design of the game can be influenced and oftentimes outright, you know, compromised by having microtransactions in a single player <coughs> Assassin's Creed. And C, Dragon's Dogma 2 is a great game that I don't think has a gameplay loop that's compromised by the microtransactions that are available. The microtransactions that are available just happen to be incredibly, laughably stupid. Uh, also, the performance, let's get a couple patches in there. You know, I, 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 you know, I have a pretty decent Thank rig, you, uh, so I haven't had too many issues. But let's get some performance patches in there. Let's let's get the console players to a point where they're not getting 20 to 25 frames during the most important parts of the game or in the crowded areas. That's my take. I think everybody's just gotta, you know, chillax a little bit. Take it easy, you know? Take a deep breath. Um, I would I would definitely suggest though, if you're on like console or anything like that, you know, wait on it. It's a good game though. You will enjoy it. If you like action RPGs, you will you will enjoy it. Okay, I think we killed most of the people in this. F Wait, no, where are they? Where are the dead bodies? Did it refresh? I never went in this room. Oh, and they still haven't seen me. Okay. Vats has been really overpowered on this build. Let's just make sure we can get both of them. Not even ready for it. Oh, he's sleeping. I want to get that guy out of his little bed. How is it 0%? He's like 15 feet away. Uh-oh. Oh, that was really close to me. Yeah, I'm almost dead. Oh, no. <laughs> Friendly fire. Why is he on the... Did I miss something? Oh god, oh god. Wait. Okay, he's gonna go melee? Alright, well we can probably outrun him, except I'm also injured. So we go... Thank you, Karin, sir. More Gwent, I mean caravan. Poggers. We will be playing Gwent. I've thought about that. I, I want to play Gwent. I've never played it. Swap to boxing tape. He wants to take us on. Mono e mono. Come on. Come on. You like that? What the? Hey, leave us be. Had enough? Oh god. No, you're not allowed to use those two. That's my strategy. Put the gun away. All right, fall back. Why is this my strategy in every single game? Just to run away. I like to create space. Had enough. Oh god, I might lose. My agility is so low. Okay, he's down. Now let's two birds with one stone. Beautiful. That's gotta get both. Fuck. Ugh. 
Easy peasy. Uh, it'll be worth some money. I might as well just take everything and sell it. We have a shop right across the street. Ink Demon, thank you very much for 14 months. And yeah, we'll take all that. I'll leave the armor. I feel like it's not worth that much. Your hunger level has increased. Ah, oh, nice, level up. so accurate you know what I forgot to do I forgot to disable the mod that uh, turns off the gore in my game damn it YouTube YouTube was being a real YouTube I did what I had to, okay? It, it was a different time. Okay, Deputy, is it Beagle? Is that his name? I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. No, I just exploded everyone in here because I'm not rescuing you. Well, I'm Deputy Beagle, and I'm being held hostage. Can you imagine? I'd be most grateful if you would set me free. Um, well, what are you going to pay me for freeing you? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. Why do you want me to punch him? The powder ganger stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Like I cut you loose just so you could run away? Like I don't want your help? I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me. Sure, run away. You don't look like you'd be much help. No, no, stick with me. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. See you outside. I don't want to free you. Go, I, I want you to go back. You coward. Uh, no, no, I won't kill him. If I kill him, I think it compromises my mission of giving the powder gangers prim. Remember, we're a powder ganger at heart. Why don't you just use the loot all button? I don't know, I feel like it's satisfying just kind of plinking your way down through the container's inventory. I like the sounds it makes. It's satisfying. Okay, what kind of... I was about to get upset. There's a bunch more of them upstairs, right? I like the sound of everything being looted at once. Hey, to each their own. Yeah, no, that's not as satisfying. Okay. All right, it's real congested in here. I gotta be careful that they don't push me. He's about to cross that corner. This is really impressive. Holding a Zippo flame like that and timing it. This is the cool lighter. Uh, I'm gonna get killed here. There's no way my... It's gonna hit the wall. Oh. 
Close shave. This music is scary. I'm so used to playing in silence. Huh? Follow, fall back. Critical. Critical strike on the impact. Oh, double kill. Come on. Two for one special. Right here. Uh, I'm just going to hit a button. Like Why is he so close? <laughs> no, he teleported. I'm going to get my set. Now I'm now I'm going to die. OK, there's three of them now. Let's see if we can tactically. Uh, don't die, don't die. Bounce it off the wall. Come on. One, two, three. Oh, you're still alive. Hold down the fort. We'll get out of this. I'm running low. Need another boomstick. They got to be carrying some. Okay, he's going to close the gap by the time this explodes and I likely die. Or not. Nice. I was supposed to wait another hour so you could sleep in late? Really? Did we talk about that? Maybe I might have missed the meeting. That's the best sound ever. All right, we don't really get that many skill points every level. I've been enjoying slowly tapping into unarmed. Let's put three skill points. Uh, probably barter. Barter's probably pretty good. I think there's a few decent speech options we get from barter as well. I should have done repair. In hindsight, I feel like repair would be decent. It's a good money maker. Ooh, hockey mask gives plus five unarmed. But it does look ridiculous. That's the only that's the only problem I have with the hockey mask. It looks stupid. I'm sticking with my cowboy hat. If I'm going to be using vats a lot, I need to look cool in third person. Is this a no guns run? For the most part, yeah. I don't really have any advantage at all. Energy weapons at 20. I guess if I found a really good energy weapon. But right now, dynamite, it's one tapping most enemies on hard. For now. Is there anything good in here, like a skill book I might be missing? I feel like y'all would know. What challenge are we doing this time? No special challenge, really. I'm doing this for myself. This is for my own gratitude. Also, I wanted to do a more chill stream so I could, uh, I don't know, hang out with chat better than I have during some of the Skyrim challenge runs where I get like super extremely locked into the gameplay. Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash in small unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. Unmarked bills, there's cash in here. Where's the cash? Not cash, but oh, damn, laser RCW is cool. It's also worth a decent amount, so I'm taking it. I 
I feel like this is a gun that I always get excited to find when I play New Vegas and then I just never use it. But like, it's a laser Tommy gun. How do you say no to that? I think this might be the drug room. I'm definitely missing something. Woo, finally caught you live. Solo less rocker, good to see ya. Totally unrelated to Fall of New Vegas, but we got snow last night. Did anybody else get snow last night? And I guess we're supposed to get snow again. It wasn't really a difficult winter, but I am a little bit salty that Mother Nature waited until the last possible second for some decent snow. Because we didn't really get all that much during winter itself. And we're gonna, like, all the majority of the snow we get this year is all gonna be right before it changes to spring and it melts. It makes me sad. You got a little snow in Stockholm? I know where that's at. I know, I know geography. Yeah, no, no, I, I know where that's at. New Mexico is a fucking desert. It sucks here. Does it ever snow in a place like New Mexico? I've never been to New Mexico. I've only been there in spirit because I've watched a lot of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. I think I could find my way around. I say as I get completely turned around and lost in the Bison Steve. I feel like I'm missing something in here though, am I? I guess not. I know geography, Mr. Swiss Cheese from Sweden. Yeah, it's close enough. They both start with sw. All right. Leave me alone. Look, if that's going to be the one grammatical mistake that I make in a long running streak of nearly flawless vocabulary, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm okay with that. All right. That, that, that's a perfectly reasonable mistake to make. They start with swa. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Is Swiss Breaking cheese not from... See, I'm not the only one! Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Are you running any mods or just vanilla? Uh, th I don't think I have any mods nothing like seriously game changing if I do mainly a bug fix here and there nothing crazy though for the most part vanilla what are you talking about you're the sheriff now yeah no 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 no. we're gonna just start the interview process now you're not the sheriff what are you doing in here well a deputy isn't much good without a sheriff uh so I figured I'd come in here and protect these good people until someone finds us a new one. At least he doesn't think he's the sheriff because he didn't do shit. He got himself captured and then ran away at the first sign of danger. But, but the town doesn't have a sheriff. I don't have an employer and that means I don't have a job. Talk to Johnson Nash. If you think you might be able to help, come find me. I thank you for all you've done. Hello again. 
It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle sir. down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Nope. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Nope, not happening. I'm giving the powder gangers control over Prim. I don't have time to help Prim. I'll bring law and order back. You bet your sweet ass I'll bring law and order back here. You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may... You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so... No Slim Prim. I mean, Slim Prim is the fastest way to just complete the quest, if that's what you want to do. Sitting at work, playing Elder Scrolls Blades, watching Juve because there's no work. Flaming Beef Cat, I hope you are having a grand old time. Sometimes those shifts are nice, where it's just nothing's happening. Nothing's going on. Oh, crap, he's in the other room. Uh, Jesus Crust, thank you for three months. Hope you're having a beautiful Monday. Damn, run low. Need to talk about something? Oh, he, I, I bet he was running low on smokes. That's <laughs> you know what? This is why we need to hire Myers. He's going to address the real problems of Prim. The real problems everyone's running into, like running out of smokes, not having variety and choice of smokes, only having Marlboro Reds, limited access to things like American Spirits or Newports. Who's in charge of the powder gangers? Uh, I guess we just have to talk to him until the option comes up. I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it'd better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. Is it really prison if the NCR blew a big ass hole in the wall? All right then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. I didn't really guarantee him a pardon. Also, the NCR hates me. Oh, okay, we, we have to get him a pardon. But like, dude, you're not in prison. Unless they somehow got the wall back up. No, there's a big, there's a big hole in the wall. You're free to go. You could just leave. You're not stuck in here. Hello. All right, we gotta sell this off. I need cash. Let's hit up Prim. Let's get the pardon. Sell off our stuff and then clap Johnson Nash in a game of caravan real quick. You know what the NCR prison back there reminds me of? Really weird, uh, but it kind of reminds me of how most bases in Kenshi look. Like that makeshift wall. Maybe I just want to play Kenshi. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting the Kenshi itch. It pops up every couple months. Yeah. Yeah. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. I, maybe things will change as we run into the NCR a little bit more, but I swear every NCR mission in New Vegas is like, 
Yeah, we actually kind of suck ass, and uh, we need you to do pretty much everything. We're losing a foothold on this small little town. You have three Thank people you, here. Sir. No wonder you're getting your asses kicked. The powder gangers suck. What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still hand. If you'd like to mm -hmm. see the NCR night at Mahat. Have you gotten us any additional support yet? Wait, what? No, I need the pardon. Hey. Do I gotta like steal it from him or did I screw up the dialogue choice? Can you give me a pardon? What is it? Where are you from? I don't wanna know where Sir. he's from. Maria, thank you for the prime. Good to see you. Oh, 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 I probably gotta go all the way over here. Uh, vilified. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna walk in like I own the place still. Oh, wait, wait, we flirted with this person. We might be able to get this easily. Back again, I see. Something you need? Prim. Hayes units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? Prim has seen better days. Hayes is undermanned. No. One of the convicts from NCRCF is looking for a pardon so we can protect Prim. One of the powder gangers? They've been nothing but trouble for us. Why would we want one of them anywhere in an official capacity? Because he's cool and has a cool hat. 200 caps? Come on, he's just a convict. How bad could he be? I don't think so. I'm not going to put my word on the line for some random convict. Prim. One of the... Well, having a sheriff who was a convict is better than no sheriff at all. And if he has the qualifications... All right, hand it over. You know what's bothering me? One sec. If I, like, scroll in-game, it scrolls the Twitch alerts window that I have on my other monitor, and I can see it out of the corner of my eye every time. Okay, I think I fixed it. Driving me crazy. Um, do I not have to talk to... What's his face? Do I not have to talk to... Uh, um, I've already forgotten his name. I got the guy a job, and I don't remember what his name is. I almost said Prim. Hayes? No, not Hayes. My game crashed. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm fixing it. I think it loaded into, yeah, like it, it still quick saved right when we got in here, so we're good. Oh, Myers. Damn it, now I gotta go back to. I just wanna play Caravan. <laughs> I don't wanna do this stupid quest anymore. I wanna play Caravan. Where is Hayes? Not Hayes. I keep thinking his name is Hayes. Er. Hey there. Hey. Hey there. Hey, how you doing? Does anybody in here even want to gamble? They just walk around with rifles. Any luck finding a... I'm still looking. Ah, oh, damn it. And then we can gamble in here. Turn to Myers and let him know NCR has pardon. Okay, I guess it just won't give me the marker, but I'm going back to him. Oh, wait. Ah, ah okay, okay. I'm, I'm getting the quest marker at the NCR base. Because that's how I can get them NCR reinforcements. 
You paid Johnson Nash twice in a row in Caravan? Hell yeah. You eyeballing me? Where is Myers? Where did he go? I'm fast traveling too much. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to like get food and water real quick. How are we doing today? Baron's Eye, we're doing well. Other than the fact that I haven't been able to play Caravan yet, I'm missing it. Right, maybe Myers is over here. gotten us okay quietly so he's not there do I have to pass some time maybe I just didn't pass oh he's already here god damn it what the hell all right I think he was just walking here thanks for getting me that pardon me and the boys will take good care of prim don't you worry that's what I'm talking about Who's in charge of the powder gangers? I feel like I should already know that. Why am I not in charge? Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. All right, Prim is protected. We could pick up Edie. I don't know if I have the stuff to pick up Edie, though. Mojave Express delivery order four of six. Deliver the package at the north entrance of the to the Vegas Strip by way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint, take possession of the package, and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express agency in Prim. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. That is not a lot of money to run across across the entire wasteland. Damn, repair 65. Three scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. Sorry, Johnson. I need it more than you. Why is he injured? Did I hit him with dynamite after losing a hand of caravan? I... Hey there. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Hats off to you. Thank you, con sir. I appreciate it. Now, give me all your now money me and let me kick your ass in some... What? Now give me a moment to get back to my shop and I'll show you my stock. Okay, well, hurry up, man. Why is he injured? Does completing that quest, is that what opens up the gambling in Prim? Prim wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Some people will do anything to feel safe. No, they didn't. It's the powder gangers. Hey there, youngster. Things are pretty good with Myers watching over us. I can give you a little bit of a discount. Okay, well, which one is it? Are you bootlicking the NCR or are you happy that Myers is watching the town? Get rid of all this ammo. Dynamite. Let's get meds. Yeah, we're gonna need. We're gonna need meds. We're gonna need food. Might as well just take all of it now. Oh my god, wait, that's actually worth a lot. Give me a shot if you need anything else. 
You think you have what it takes, kid? I've already beaten you twice. If I can remember the rules for- He only has 70- Oh, uh, he doesn't have any caps! Wait, hold on. I took all of his money in the sale. Hey there, youngster. So if I want to get some free stuff, I think I need to buy something. Let's, uh... I don't want long fuse dynamite. That's still not enough. Yeah, we'll grab a stealth boy. I'm just gonna force him into betting more. He doesn't have any grenade launcher ammo. Put some NCR cash on the table. Give me a shot if you need anything else. You think you have what it takes, kid? He's only betting 112 now. Can I raise? All right, I don't remember exactly what the strategy was with Caravan. But I think last time what we mostly did, we matched their play. We used King to double. We Okay, we got some Kings so we can play some offense here. I'm starting to remember it now. I'll try and explain the rules if you have no clue how to play Caravan. Gamba, you want to gamble? All right, all right, I'll, I'll give it a second. Ink Demon, are you able to set up... Uh, a gamble? Do I have a RuneScape account? And if so, can we be friends? Uh, you can add me on RuneScape. My account is not Juve. I haven't been playing a lot recently because I got frustrated with the Dragon Defender grind. I've been there for like three weeks. So what is your name then? Not Juve. Because somebody on RuneScape decided to take Juve. I'm going to win this, by the way. If you bet on Johnson Nash, I just want you to know you're a coward. I hate you. And you suck. Nine is a, nine is a great card to start with. We'll match Johnson's nine. He's got nine again? So do I. Do I match or do we go three? You know what? I'm going to go three. Because we can go descending from the nine, ascending from the three. And then he goes ace. I'm going to go nine. He's going to take away my three. That's cowardly. I play another three. Uh, nine, eight. Okay, that's not bad. We can go three, five. Start building that one up, see what we can get. Okay, he's at 24 there. We can double his seven and bust that hand. Play some offense here. If we play a king on his seven, he goes over 26 by quite a few. Or we double the nine. If we double the nine and force him to eliminate the nine, it makes him getting to 26 a second time on that hand a bit harder. Okay, damn. Okay, he's got some hands. Johnson Nash has hands this time. I think our best route would be 6 here, 14 plus a 10 takes us to 24. We can win the middle. He's going to play a king there. Well, I have two more kings to keep playing offense. We can double his double. And kill another starting nine that he has. Ooh. Johnson, Johnson, Johnson. Why are you playing a king on an ace? That's a strange one to me. We go ascending, 6 to 10. This hand puts us at 24. He's probably going to attack my middle hand, but that's going to open up an opportunity for us to go 9, 8. We love it. Wow, we made him eliminate the entire hand. That's huge. Can I go 9-9? Nine, nine? Oh, you can't do a match. If I had another 8, what we can do is we can play King 8. Although, eh, maybe we tread lightly here. He's got a King somewhere out there. So let's leave that hand. Let's not play our King yet. 
Let's go descending nine, five, and we can king the nine. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to get lucky though and pull one card lower than eight and we can win. Six is big and he clears the hand. He burns another turn. He eliminates his middle hand. We go. I just have to have one lucky pull by him and I win. Double our nine. We play six under eight, we win. He discards. That's it, that's game. Cha-ching. Thank you for playing. Your ass, my friend Johnson Nash. I need better competition. Won't you play DD2 for a stream? Maybe in the future. Definitely in the future. I've been enjoying it, but you know, I, I do like having a game every now and then to just play off stream. Oh, wait, did we even kill the guys? The roller coaster guys? I think we killed them. Nah, I've already wandered out too far. I'm over it. I said I would explain what's going on. I feel like I kind of went through the rules a little bit there. The way Caravan works, it's not as confusing as I originally thought. Essentially, you play your first card and then you have to get your total hand value, uh, the, your total value of your quote unquote Caravan between 21 and 26. If you go over 26, it's a bust. If you're under 21, it's not a winning hand yet. Jax, Kings and Queens all have different ways that affect the hand. Kings double a card that it's on top of. Queens reverse the order. If you play a 10 as your first card. One sec. I mean, this would be easier to explain if I was playing Caravan. Hold on, we have to do a little bit of tax and hunting real quick. All right, all right. You want to really learn how to play Caravan? I will, we'll go to NCR. We'll rematch What's-Her-Face. I'll explain it. This is going to be your Caravan learning lesson. I'm going to get that down. I'm going to get stop hopping down. If you've ever seen a Jabo stream, you know he's, he knows how to do this because he's got a lot of speed running experience. But I just can't do it. Can we gamble again? Absolutely. Ink Demon, run it back. Although it's a bit lopsided. Now that I know... Am I in trouble? Now that I know how to play, I'm going to win. Background? Just my luck. Yeah, you better bet. <laughs> you bet, Lacey. You're cooked. All right, go on. Let's put our cards down. 151? That's an okay bet. All right, I will explain Caravan right here. This, this right here, this is your lesson. I'm going to explain this one time. Clip it. Pay attention. This is how you play Caravan. I am going to win. It is a game of skill, intelligence, preparation, reaction. Wait, no, no, I do not want to bet that much. 151 is fine. All right, so Caravan starts with each player. I believe it's a part of the rules. You have to play one card in your three positions before you can play any other cards in that position. So Lacey here decided to play an ace. You want to end up with a score of between 21 and 26 in each of the three positions. Your cards can either go ascending. So she played an ace. That means 
she has a lot of cards that can ascend from ace to reach that key score. I have a nine, so I'm gonna play a nine because I can descend from nine with an eight, a five, a seven to reach that target score. So we'll start with a nine. Lacey plays an eight. It has one less card to descend from than nine, but still not a bad card to play to descend from. I'm gonna play ace because I can ascend from ace up to the target score. Four? Not bad, but not great. She definitely is going to ascend from four with either a six, seven, eight, or nine. And we'll play eight that we wanna descend from. Okay, eight, nine. That means the only available card for her to play in that middle hand is a 10. However, she plays a 10 in that middle hand, it takes her to 27. That means that hand is a bust for her. The only other option she has is to play a queen, which I could do for her, I won't do. If she plays a queen on that nine, the queen is a special card because it reverses the direction in which your card numbers are going. So she needs to play a queen on that hand or possibly a king to double the nine and reach the target score. If she doubles the nine with a king, it's 26, which is the highest possible score for a hand. Jack's eliminate a card. I'm not gonna use my jack quite yet. What we will do is go nine, seven. So we're descending from nine right there. What kind of a six is that? Wait, eight, nine, six. Oh, you can change order if it's the same suit. So I am gonna play my jack to remove that six. It just gives her less options on that hand. If I go with a five descending from seven, that hands at 21. The game ends when one or both players have the three columns in the winning score range. So we could go eight and... Mm -hmm. I could go eight and nine here and wait for a heart, but that puts me in a tough position just like her middle hand. I know what to do. I'm gonna go nine. <clears throat> We're gonna go ascent. We're gonna go ascending there. Queen to flip it, and then play like a five or something. Which unfortunately only nets us a tie. Um, we could play, I could play king on this nine, which would double it. That brings this one to 25. However, if she closes out, she's already closed out right column. If she's able to close out that middle column on the next play, she wins. So I think we need to play some offense here. Let's get rid of this nine. Let's attack there. Okay, she's still going with the right column. She's trying to increase that score as much as possible. Can I go ace two? That's gonna take a lot of cards to build up from ace. Ace two, five. We could go ace two, five, six, but that doesn't get us there. I could play six here, but that I'm still losing this hand by one point. I'm only at 23. But if we're descending again, we can take the three. Same suit, 26. We're winning middle. If she wants to go ahead and close out the middle column, I'm gonna force her hand and play five here. Yeah, she can't close out that middle column now or she loses. 10 is huge. We go five. Hmm. I gotta get that middle. 10, king, we win. She discarded. 
Double the 10, 21, game over. That's how you play Caravan. Any questions? Any questions, chat? I just got an ad for the U.S. Marines, and I straight up thought it was a hell diver. Wait, you guys are getting recruited to join the Marines on my stream? All three rows need to be closed. Yes. In order for the game to end, all three have to be closed. And if one player closes one and the other player closes two, the player that closed two of them wins. Or the player that has the better score in those two wins. Now I get your two kids. Which one of them... Which ones you want? What? Wait, wait, wait excuse me? I'm sorry? No. I can't take that responsibility, okay? I'm having a hard enough time explaining caravan to my children here. They're running an ad campaign right now? What if everyone in my chat joined the Marines at the same time? Wouldn't that be wild? If there was like an entire Marine contingent that was just chatters from the stream? They'll be out in the field. They'll be out in the field singing Dagoth Wave. <laughs> Heard your footsteps coming up the ramp. Didn't sound like a trooper or one of the merchants. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. It's bothering me that her cheeks are very slightly clipping over the bottom of her glasses. Why is the... Why is the music getting intense? I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. I was going to say, her time. voice is echoing. I wasn't the only one that heard that. Why don't you go check it out? Got my post. Don't think I wouldn't go too. If troubles hit Nipton, town's got enough camping spots to rack up some easy kills. Not a Okay, the music really does not fit here. All right. Let's I'll take the quest because I just want the XP. I mean, I guess we're headed to Nipton anyway, right? Ooh, you know what I want to check first? I want to check. Maybe not quite canyon wreckage. But isn't there like an insanely high level ghoul over here? Isn't there? Like, it's either like a bobblehead or there's something over here. Lurkin and squirtin. Keto. Excuse me? Thank you, kind sir. Eight months of Jovin. Ben Adafon, thank you for eight months. This dynamite throw is for you. Okay, let's just be careful here. If we cripple their legs, they won't be able to catch up. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating it is. Who was that? Meerkat, good to see you. Thank you for how do you catch up to me? I'm in vets. Meerkat, very kind of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you for gifting five. I've saved up so much ammo by just not using guns. I mean, I guess if we main explosive, we can still soften them up. Not use a whole lot of ammo if we just spray and pray every time. Look at that reload. It's in slow fucking motion. Look, look at this. The last little bolt pull, it's so sad. Sorry, that sounded more squishy than the sound effect in game. But you get the, you get the point. 
Juve, you have to live six months in an Elder Scrolls city. Where you live in. Um, I'd say the Imperial City. However, the Imperial City, a Daedric god does kind of commit war crimes in the city. It's gotta be one of the, oh, uh, well. Okay, is this operating under the assumption that the Elder Scrolls City I'm living in is during the time that the game takes place? I think that's an important part of the question that I gotta clarify. Let's just assume. Let's let's assume that yes. The Elder Scroll City that I have to live in for six months, I'm living in it during the time of the in-game events. So, I mean, damn, that's tough. Do I want to live like Oblivion Gates popping up everywhere in the wilderness? I guess the cities are fairly walled off, civilized and guarded by guards. But damn, that's, you know, that, that's still pretty tough. Any of the Morrowind towns? They all kind of give off calm fishing town vibes, but also Dagoth Ur is spreading super cancer all across the land via zombie and ash. That's also not very good. Skyrim has dragons, uh, terrible. And most of the towns aren't really walled. Even if they have a wall, a dragon is getting around the wall. So I guess if I had to take any of the crisis to live through, I don't know, y'all saw Kavach. Kavach, Kavach, that looks fucked. I don't know if I want to go there. Also, Oblivion looks scary. I think I'd take my chance getting burned alive by a dragon than being jailed in oblivion. That, that would that would really fucking suck. Uh, hold on, this is tough. They're catching up to me. Time out. Okay, hold on. Gaming. What is that explosion? What's going on over there? Hey, hey! Douche! Fall back. Uh, yeah, hired a sheriff for no goddamn reason. Okay, they're gonna have to come around this corner. This is a good opportunity. What a throw. Unbelievable throw. Didn't get him? Didn't... Oh, shit, 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 shit. This is not good. I will answer this question. Hold on, I am, I am invested in this. It's embarrassing. I gotta learn. Oh god, I'm dead. No, I haven't died this whole run. Rock of safety. That's got to get their legs. Come on. Stay right there, gentle sirs. for the slowest reload ever. Oh, that was quick. All right, anyway, uh, now that I'm not dead, back to your intriguing question. Why am I dressed like Woody? Because there's a snake in my boot. All right, I think I'm going to rule out the Oblivion Crisis. If I had to pick which crisis to live through, Oblivion Crisis, I'm ruling out. What's the crisis in Daggerfall? I haven't played enough of it. The king's been assassinated or something. Who is Chet? Uh, Chet, you betcha. He's a highly qualified 
well-traveled, experienced news reporter. Daggerfall is just politics. That's what I thought. I was I was thinking that Daggerfall was mostly just. I usually only watch vods, but I have finally caught a stream. Fenrir boy, good to see you. How are you? Thank you for three months. It's obviously daggers falling from the sky. Okay. If it is raining daggers and Daggerfall, I don't know if I want to be there. What exploded here? What the hell was that? Oh, it was a coyote. Poor thing. Uh, 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 Programmer's Digest, that's an actual buff. No, it's not. Damn it. It's only temporary. Um. Yeah, if the Daggerfall conflict is just kind of regular old politics then I probably would take Daggerfall. I'm not going to run into any bad guys if I stay in town. Well populated. Civilized. I don't think I'm dying. Any dangerous thing that I might run into is just going to be a 2D sprite. I mean, compared to a 2D sprite, I run a 4240. I'm a first round draft pick. I'm outrunning any danger. All right, yeah, here's where I wanted to go. We have Rad X. Yes, we do. We have Rad Away as well. Only one stick of dynamite. Oh God, and it's a Reaver. Anyone remember how disgustingly overpowered these guys are in Fallout 3? Gotta cripple its legs. Not crippled yet. It's gonna catch up to us super quickly, so we'll go grenade rifle. Oh, that's right, I got the plasma ones. It's like unlimited ammo. Shit. Run. I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm so dead. Rock of safety. Nice, we got his leg crippled. It kind of sucks with this because with the grenades and with dynamite. Oh yeah, here we go. Now go for the headshot, both of his legs. How the hell is that leg not crippled? The soundtrack is making such strange noises. There's like a... I don't know what instrument that is, but it just sounds like something whining. Do you hear that? Also, Spads, I appreciate it. Thank you for the question. And for a thousand bits, very kind of you. Are there more? Oh, shit, there's another one. Can I hit this? 2% chance? I like those odds. Never tell me the odds! That was a big hit. We got the leg crippled. He's moving pretty quick though. His cripple walk is really fast. Shit, there's two. He went for backup. All right, we want to try and cripple this one. Left leg crippled. Massive. They're both crippled. We want to be economical, though, with this shot. We want to hit both of them. So let's wait. They're both close. No, we need them both in the same spot, but he's caught on that little bridge. You know what? Fine. If he's going to be stuck there... Thank 
like you can, sir. No two for one. He's stuck again. Screw it. Headshot. Give it to me. Yeah, okay. I got radiation poisoning. Who cares? Okay, I missed, but I hit the other one. Thank you, kind sir. Two down. Should be another level up. And this guy, yeah, he's stuck. The only thing that I think unsticks him is if his, like, power attack pulls him over the ledge. Impossible. <laughs> He's just walking through the water. I right, find I'm going inside. Oh, I'm dead if I go inside here, aren't I? I think there's a pharaoh ghoul in here. I want to say there's a glowing one inside. Oh no, it's just a robot. Uh, Mr. Gutsy. Okay. A British Mr. Gutsy? Mr. Handy. All the Mr. Handys are British. What am I saying? All right, no grenades. Service rifle, get me through this. I'll show you democracy. Nice, decent damage. <laughs> Don't misquote me there. <laughs> no. Stop it. Grow up. Come on, railing, save me. We're good, we're good, we're good. All good. And we get our level up. You know what? I'm gonna pause on explosives. 60 is pretty good for now. I think I need some medicine help. Medicine needs some help. Let's get it to 15. Let's go unarmed. Couple points there, nothing crazy. Couple points barter. Let's go 45. I don't know, a pity point on repair. Demolition expert. With each rank of this perk, all of your explosive weapon weapons do an additional 20% damage. That's very good. The power of your personality inspires diehard loyalty from your followers. No. Considerably more caps and containers. Not really interested. Bloody mess. Don't get to have as much fun with that one. Cannibal. Why is cannibal such a low level perk? It's kind of hilarious that it's that low. It's kind of boring because it's just like a, a straight stat buff, but I'll take demo expert. We could have used considerably less explosives on the feral ghouls there. Ace okay, weapon rope. There it is. I knew there was a stat thing in here. Anything I might be missing in here? That's Chet. Thank you, kind sir. Just a skill book, everything else is irradiated.
Official Kismet, good to see you. Thank you for the tier one. <clears throat> Hope you're having a grand day. How was everyone's weekend? Did anybody do anything fun this weekend? Has everybody seen Dune? Everybody, when can we talk about Dune? Played D&D for five hours? I've still never done an actual D&D &D campaign. One of these days I will. I saw Dune twice. Twice in one weekend? I've seen the Dune Cups. You gotta wonder, when something like the Dune Cup is modeled, created, iterated on, I mean months in advance of its release, that's a marketing thing that, that had to go through some approvals. You know, there are levels to it. That was seen by probably a few hundred people who all sat around designing this thing back and forth and they ended up with that that's the final design we went with how did we end up here like are are the people in those meetings just too afraid to like raise their hand what does everybody think of this design there had to have at least been one person in the back of the room who was like uh boss It looks like uh, an alien pocket pussy. Somebody. One person in the boardroom meeting. Had to have. Maybe that conversation took place and they said, You're right, it does. And the internet's gonna go crazy. So maybe it was actually really smart. They playtested it. <laughs> Yeah, it went through lots of QA rounds. All of our all of our user reviews have come back extremely positive. They can't get enough of it. I don't know where where I should go. My whole ass marketing class was unhinged. Did they have a, uh, wait, did, did you have like a marketing class where there were discussions about the Dune popcorn cup? Popcorn bucket? What even was it? It didn't even look like a sizable amount of popcorn. Like it, it looked like a small. Dude, can you fix your hey leg? Hey there, youngster. Oh, that's why the powder gangers are always out of cigarettes. Johnson Nash took them all. Thanks pretty good with my No, 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 no. No. I keep the NCR cash. Cuz right now I need to cut down on weight. Service rifle? I think I hold on to this. It's just an emergency. It's nice to kind of fire off a bunch of rounds. But we got to cut down. Yeah, like we're carrying all this beer. Tons of Nuka Cola. God, he can't afford it. You suck. Thank you, kind sir. I'm on my laptop chatting, but casting you to my 55 inches TV from my couch. How does that make you feel? It makes me, I'm getting performance anxiety. That's, that's just, a, that's a lot of scream that I have to, you know, that I am responsible for. He doesn't have any grenades. Give me it back, give me that back. Give it, give it all back. You can take the laser RCW and the hockey mask. I'm taking my beer back though. And my cola. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, I think I'm gonna go try and take the cool route to New Vegas. Let's hit Chet.
Is Doc Mitchell dead? I kind of want to just go see what's up with Doc Mitchell. Well, okay, what's what's Chet's deal with Chet? Doc? Mm hmm. Okay, he's not home. I fear the worst may have happened to him. I killed Chet? No, I didn't. He's alive. He's right here. You looking to buy some supplies? Can do. 49 caps. Okay, he doesn't have dynamite either. He does have stims. Load up on stims, 900. Shout if you need anything. Can the... Well, I don't want to kill the powder gangers. I don't want to just start wasting them for dynamite. But I think if I go talk to Eddie or... or someone someone in here has got to be able to sell it, right? Did you see me take out that NCR trooper? Right through his eye. You, you didn't do it. I literally... I, okay. Now they're taking credit for my accomplishments. Maybe I Never will kill all the powder gangers. Blows up. Oh, but that guy likes exploding things. Maybe I won't kill them. Sticking around, I see. Need a doctor. Might as well. I'm meant to be revising, but I'm here instead. Please kill him. Wait, wait, Chet? Sticking around, I see. Or the guy out front. Ah, oh, damn it. It's scrolling the alert thing again. I hate when it does that. Uh, Cheese Monkey, thank you for 15 months. Comrade Badger, sorry I missed that. Thank you for the tier one. Shane Koo, I missed that one as well. Thank you for 15 months. Hope you're doing all right. Oh, that's right. We can talk to Eddie and he'll give it to us. Hold on, I gotta fix that. It drives me nuts. What's your opinion on ABBA? Is that a band? Hello. Isn't that a band? Not bad in a fight, are you? I really thought the NCR had us in their sights that time. Powder gain. Oh, fame gained again. We're out at the moment. I just realized I don't think I've slept this entire playthrough. Hello. Wait, 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 Dancing Queen, that's ABBA? You can dance, you can dance. That one, that's that's ABBA? Oh, then I like him. I mean, if that's like the only one I know. Having the time up, yeah, no, that's, that's a classic. They did Super Trooper. Off the top of my head, I don't know. If you give me like lyrics, Hello. Then I would know. Hello. 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 Could have sworn I saw some great cons the other day. No, you didn't. They're a myth. They aren't real. 
Abba is the best Dane. Are they Danish or are they? I'm not. No, I almost made another geographical mistake. Swiss is. Danish is Denmark. You want to hear some crazy shit about Denmark? When I was in grade school, and maybe I've told this story before. When I was in grade school, I was in fifth grade. Okay, and my my like background i guess like my family background if we if we trace our roots all the way back i got some irish and i got some german in me right and we had to do this project in fifth grade where we all had to do like a presentation on like countries of origin and so many people in my class were doing ireland that i was like dad what's like our What's our origin? Everybody's got like Germany. They're doing a presentation on Germany or they're doing a presentation on Ireland. A lot of white kids in my class. And I, I don't know. I don't want to do the same presentation as everyone else. And my dad goes, well, do you know, we're uh, we're actually part Danish. Yeah, we're we're actually part, you know, where we have some family heritage in Denmark. And then he even went so far as to grab this little rooster statue that was in our kitchen. My mom loves to like decorate places with roosters. I don't know why, it just was kind of always a thing. And he hands it to me and he's like, yeah, this is actually an ancient family heirloom. No, it wasn't. It was from fucking Target or something. It, it was, it was, he lied. He completely lied. I bought the whole thing. I went to glass, I gave a presentation on Denmark. <laughs> like He just completely made up the entire thing because I felt, you know, I wanted to do something different than the rest of class. So yeah, I yeah. just like gave a presentation. I was like, yeah, this is actually an ancient family heirloom. Uh, roosters are, <laughs> are very beloved in Denmark. And then we, we all get to bring in like a food item from our country of origin. And so I just went to like a donut place that was nearby and brought danishes. You know what I got on the project? I got a C. I got a C. I remember looking up. I was looking up uh, things on Wikipedia about Denmark at the time. And there was one image of like a church in Denmark and I think the priests at the church were just wearing robes. So I was like, oh, they wear robes in Denmark. Brilliant. My mom has a bathrobe. I'll wear that for my presentation. <laughs> so I wore this purple bathrobe and was like, yeah, as you can see, I'm wearing a robe. Um, these are pretty popular in Denmark, uh, according to my <laughs> according to my surface level research, which was one image on Wikipedia. So I think I kind of maybe I deserve to see. I think teacher called my bluff. How old were you? I was 11, 11 or 12. But I'll tell you what, I gave a different presentation than everyone else. There were like 17 different Irelands. So you were always an entertainer? I don't know about that. Maybe a bit of a clown. Always been a dumbass. That's never changed. Yeah, are the, is there anybody in chat from Denmark? Can you confirm or deny uh, the amount of robe usage? Like if you look out your window right now, will everybody be wearing robes? Oh my God, it'd be like the Jedi Council. That'd be so sick. Can we just make robes th a thing? How cool would it be if every time you went out in public, everybody was dressed like the prequel trilogy? I might be onto something. I feel like society in general would be <laughs> so much more entertaining if everybody was dressed up like it was, you know, the Jedi Council. Robes are a thing, it's called religion. Yeah, I guess. Also, I'm screwed. 
I don't have the combat skills to get through this portion. Wait, I said I was gonna go the cool way. You guys got me distracted with the, the Danes in chat got me distracted. We're taking the cool route to New Vegas. We're gonna go see Snuffles. We're gonna go say hi to Snuffles. And I'm gonna make my way through the Death Claws. I vote in favor of bringing back cloaks and robes. I think that would be sweet. We as a society need to return to dressing like it's a fantasy RPG at all times. I would still probably just wear sweaters and quarter hips, but I want everyone else wearing robes. Dynamite? <clears throat> you eyeballing me? <laughs> no. Damn, he doesn't have any dynamite. We gotta get to New Vegas. Who are you? Why are you running towards me? <gasps> Free stuff? There's two of them. Huh? Damn, running low on smokes again. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. No dynamite. Damn, no dynamite either. He has two. That doesn't belong to you. Whatever. <sighs> it should. I'm a god. Ink How demon. Can you kill a god? What are you doing? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. Thank you very much. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zarabar. Ink demon, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, kind sir. Game isn't really set Finally up for me to join things like the Powder Gangers. Would, would hope you are good. Enjoy goblining. Trooperella, good to see you. Thank you very much for six months. I will. It, it is going to be goblin mode for the next week. Oh no, 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 no! Why does this game have to make me feel like a monster? I hate killing the coyotes. Like, look at him. Look at them. Look at this family. Does that look like a heinous beast that's gonna try and shred you apart? No. He looks adorable. Look. Gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, come on. Don't go into the kill cam, that's just sad. They're hoarding dynamite. I'm a monster. Ooh, okay, that was worth it. Vindication. I'm sorry. Why does the Fallout Boy coom in the upper left corner when you get a critical hit? Because it feels awesome to hit criticals. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Stop turning towards me. Three dynamite, come on. Oh, whatever. Are you serious? I let them rise to prominence and now it's like, oh, you want to borrow some dynamite? Well, we're going to have to kill you now. No. Hold on, I have a brilliant idea. I'm not going to get in trouble for killing them. Can I catch that? <laughs> He's going to take himself out with his own dynamite. Let's see if we can get him to do that. Oh no, he's, he's charging us with a knife. All right, well, I don't think I'll get in trouble for taking them out if we... <gasps> this is perfect. <clears throat> Ow. All right, they're just gonna chase us with a baton and a little, what is that, a straight razor? Had enough. We'll take a checkpoint here. Either these guys are gonna attack them, which I don't really want. We could use them, though, as distractions. Or he's just going to run away. Ow. All right, this guy won't. You like that? Please. That, that would be really stupid. 
Okay, never mind. Chomps Lewis is at. Yeah, he's got him. Get him, Chomps. You like that? Chomps with the execution. Free dynamite. I'm only viewed as a troublemaker. And we can avoid Chomps hitting us with the hold up. There are death claws all over the damn place. I wonder what happens, because now I'm in range of when he talks to me. Oh, that powder ganger is about to push. Damn, he ran away. Avoid chomps any percent. Your leg appears to be injured. Do your best attempts at first aid to treat Snuffle's injured leg. Okay, we hurt Snuffles. He didn't die, though. Pretty sure there's a skill book in here. Like the permanent buff skill book type. Hmm. Oh. Say what? Excuse me? Yeah, I'll take it. More money for me to lose at the casino. Hey. Bow hunting skills, computer hacking skills. Am I really is am I really getting Napoleon Dynamite references in my chat? I love it. This is the best day of my life. You know, like, nunchuck skills. What, what, what's he even talking about in that scene? He can't get a girlfriend, so he's talking about how, like, all the chads at school... <laughs> that's, he's talking about all the skill sets that the chads at school have. You know, like, nunchuck skills, computer hacking skills. <laughs> Girls only like guys that have good skills. So he takes up dancing, or, like, aerobic dancing. Is that it? Duck and cover? Hey, duck and cover. Duck and cover. Oh, it's explosives? Even better. You've never, uh, what Can't is- I believe <sighs> anyone actually made it through from the north, what with all the death claws at the quarry. You returning from New Vegas? No. If you insist on going north... Weird, I've never broken his dialogue like that. Okay, if you've never seen Napoleon Dynamite, it's one of those movies that if you watch it, it's a, it's a cult classic in the way that You'll watch it and you'll be like, this isn't funny at all. But if you watch it back in the prime day when it first came out, it's funny to like talk about it. Like if somebody makes reference to it or you think about it, it's very funny. If that makes any sense. And the, the kind of the lore behind how it was made is amazing. It started off as just a college project had an incredibly low budget and, you know, made a shitload of money, he was big for MTV at the time. I'm pretty sure MTV ended up, you know, paying for it to be fully made, but it was still a fairly low budget project. Um, it's really just coming of age flair, but they do such a good job of like, small town America, like, it's just, it's a, it's a great movie. I love it. Only 400K to make it and it made like, yeah, it made like a crazy amount of money. It's a very quotable movie, yes. Uncle Rico, how much you wanna bet I can throw a football over them mountains. If you've ever seen White Lotus, uh, the guy that plays Greg, that's Uncle Rico. 
I don't remember what else he might be in. Also, the detection range on these... I'm so dead. Detection range on these death claws is insane. I'm already de I'm already dead. I'm already so screwed. Hold on, let's see. Can we throw some rocks in their way? Oh yeah. Okay, not bad. A little savvy play there. Thank you, kind sir. I have done it. Twelve months old. Chenergy, good to see you. Thank you for twelve months. Congratulations. What will you do with your prize money? Now, the AI of the Death Claws in this one specific part is very strange. They'll, like, run up to me, and then they'll... Oh, God. There's three of them there? Stealth Boy isn't going to help. There's, like, no real save points either. I can't go inside that building. So I wouldn't be able to escape them there. Safest route is probably to keep hugging these rocks. Should be able to, ooh. Uh, they might have a route up here. Yeah, yeah, they got a route up here. Back down here. Okay, they don't have a route here. Maybe they do. Okay, he's going to run back down there. I spy with my little eye a little ledge right here. Oh, this is terrifying. Sweating. I could probably stop hop. If I'm able to hit a stop hop, I think I can make that jump to the next rock. But I'm just not good at stop hopping. Nope. Oh. Okay, at least I didn't take damage. All clear. I don't think we're in the clear yet. There's a there's like an exact point on this road where it's almost like they're hard-coded to just, to just attack. And we're pretty close to it. But I think if we cut straight north, we should be all right. I think we're good. What is stop hopping? It's a speed running strategy where you have to have your inputs like perfectly on point. If you're running forward, you jump, stop, jump again, wiggle your camera, and then move forward. Uh-oh, 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 okay. Not as afraid as of them as I am of the Death Claws. Zero? What do you mean zero? Did I lose my hand? Ooh, they're getting close, but we have them crippled, which is good. Are they still so fast, man?
couple fiends if we go this way. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, the fiends are kind of like that tier two enemy. Probably pretty hard. They're not going to carry much dynamite either. I think they already see me. Can I hit this throw? Nah, let's get out of here. All right, it was hard to see, but I did do a stop hop there, just like one. It's so hard though. I don't think we need that. No, don't. Give me the XP. Alright, these NCR guys, they're gonna open fire on the fiends. I think we've got a safe route now. Just for the record, by the way, still zero deaths on this uh, character. Okay, I am indeed. I am indeed good at this game. I will take no hate. Whoa, frame rate just broke there for a second. Have you ever used the Mad Bomber explosives? I haven't. Oh, that's a hunting rifle, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going Where did these guys come from? Oh, I think they're about to deliver a message to me. Or not, they're just running away. The, uh, what are they called? The Rangers? I thought they were gonna do that thing where they approach you and they're like, hey, stop killing NCR guys. We'll put you in timeout. You know, that kind of thing. Fuck yeah, caught the juve stream. Radioactive Chuck, how are you? Welcome. We're just kind of chilling it. You guys done? Thank you, kind sir. So much violence. Sure. Such violence. I'd watch you over Doc and Tim the Tat all day. Well, I appreciate it. We all we all have very similar uh similar vibes. Thank you. Good to see you, bro. Dexter, I have a good one. What quest am I doing right now? Uh, right now, we're just trying to get to New Vegas. We're almost there. I'm trying to go the Chad route through the Death Claws. I need to find explosives. I'm really short on grenades. Probably hit Freeside or the Van Graffs. They probably have a ton of grenades. I got some money Thank to spend. You, kind sir. Oh no, I'm two hours late to the stream. You better start apologizing. 
I need a two-page paper, single-spaced. Uh, Mad Bomber. Where do I grab the Mad Bomber? Is it a rocket launcher? Is there a Napoleon Dynamite mod for New Vegas? Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, Mad Bomber is a perk. Level repair to 45 for Mad Bomber. I mean, that's going to take us a while. I'm only getting 12 skill points per level. And my repair is at 9. Fucking expensive to get into this Language! Also, no, it's not. It's 2,000 caps. That's just straight up a lie. Well, I guess what we could do, I think I, it is the implants, is that the only way I can get my intelligence up right away? Because if I want that to carry, I'm going to need the intelligence implant as early as possible. You think caps grow on trees? Hey, they do if you're able to, you know, kill enough stuff. Only other ways are intense training and DLC. Which DLC? Welcome, sir or madam. I am ready to process... Oh, I guess, yeah, if you start Old World Blues, don't you just right away get some buffs? Ripper service a rifle two step. OK, 26,000. Oh, man, I want a fat man. I want one. How can you kill a god? What a grand I want a fat man. <laughs> we should grab one. Thank you very much. How can you kill a god? I lost my mind in 08. Thank you very much for gifting five to the channel. How are you? Hope you're having a wonderful week. Hope your weekend was great. Have you seen Dune yet? I'm just going to start saying that whenever, whenever anybody gifts, I'll just ask them. Have you seen Dune? <laughs> That's it. Go if you haven't. It's awesome. But still... No chat spoilers yet. We'll give it a little bit, and then we can do spoilers in chat. It's meh! This is my first time watching your streams. Big fan of your channel. Hope you're doing well. Reaper Man Gaming, I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's go Power Fist. I have leveled up unarmored a decent bit. A, a decent bit. And I don't have any actual good unarmored weapons. Let's go with a power fist. Let's get that on slot one. We'll go grenade rifle on three. Dynamite on four. That's actually way better than boxing tape. I like the boxing tape. Just because it's funny. I need some actual power. Do, 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 dun, dun. Let's go get jumped. You now. Let's go. 
Had enough? Okay, it is not satisfying without the gore. I gotta have it. Sorry, YouTube, don't get mad at me. All right, but I need these guys exploding. If I'm gonna be punching them in the face, I need their heads to explode. You can get over it. It's not real violence. YouTube thought it was real violence for the longest time. Although I don't remember. I don't remember exactly what ESP it was. I'm getting rid of it, though. I can't have it anymore. Like, like if I'm going to go melee and explosives, I got to have some limbs flying. I think it's just in. Does New Vegas use ESPs like Skyrim does? All New Vegas data. Ah, uh, there it is. They are. They're all ESPs. Delete. Okay, let's see if that worked. I just clicked on the ESPs that had gore in the name. Do you edit all your content alone? I have two editors on the team right now that help out a lot with taking, you know, 20, 25 hours and getting it shortened down. Certain videos, like the last video we did, 30 days, after all the content was like cut down to a more reasonable size, I did do everything after that. But there are times where I'll have editor Isaac like have creative control over a part so that he can have some fun, express himself a little bit. And then maybe I change some things, rearrange some stuff. Oh, we're so back. We're back. Okay, let's redo that fight. I looked away and I actually was able to stop hop. Why are there two now? Hold on, I like- No, 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 get back here, I need that cowboy hat! No gore, but that was a great one. Why would you only this run- This hopeless! Watch out! Stop that man! This is hopeless! No, he's gonna hit the teleport! No! Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> he exits right there. Let's see if we can get an insane ragdoll and dump him into the dumpster. Ah, not quite. Not bad, though. Where's my gore? There it is. You needed an uppercut for that? It's so weird being back in Freeside. I feel like I haven't been here in so long. It's all coming back to me. What do you need? Bye. What do you need? Later. That's my favorite line in the game. Later. Nothing sketchy at all there. <laughs> uh oh. 
We're being surrounded. What do you need? Bye. Check it out. Ooh. Between the dumpsters there. Oh, look, a body. I really should be going. What's your rush? The boys and I here want to get to know you better. <laughs> oh, he's going in the dumpster. Right here. It's going to work. Come on. No, why would you turn? I just need one in the dumpster. Oh, close. Right here. Get in. Ugh. It's not meant to be. Almost though, we were damn close. I need a little bit more lift. Is that Liam O'Brien or was that Yuri? I get them mixed up. Cause Yuri is also in Helldivers. Or is Liam also in Helldivers? Liam is with um, Critical Role, right? Okay, that's what I thought. Who else is with, uh, is... Is Laura Bailey with Critical Role? Caitlin Clark makes that. <laughs> I think that's why she's so good at basketball. She actually has vats. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, punk. Beat it. I think I kind of want to be a bad boy in Freeside. Yeah, get out of here. Nice water pump. Sucks, the pump is property of the king. You'll need to pay if you want to drink. I can't crack my knuckles right now. Ashley Johnson. Was Ashley Johnson, um, was she Ellie in The Last of Us? Am I right there? She was Ellie. Ah, all right. I know. I know my voice actors. Voice talent. Or just actors. The pump is property yeah, they're just actors. You'll need to pay Doing mocap and all that. The background noise of all like the chatter kind of throws me off. Can you have sex with Benny if you take the confirmed bachelor perk? Damn. Only Femme Courier? What? Why is old Ben attacking me? Hey. Bro, bro, what? What is happening right now? Defend me, Freeside Thugs. Get him. <laughs> Kill old Ben. All right, finally I made some. No, stop. Friendly fire. Come on, I'm a scumbag just like you. You're living my dream. Look how ugly this guy is. That was incredible. You could screenshot both of those like camera angles and it looked like comic book panels. Oh, what's the matter, old Ben? Huh? The big iron on your hip not strong enough? Yeah, old Ben's mine. Get out of here.
I got an idea. Let's get him. Let's see if we can herd him like cattle to run into the gate and the robots kill him. This is hopeless. We gotta go around. Angle this way. Damn. Turn around. Help. Other way. I just need him to take that turn. Come on, old Ben. We're going to get this to work. Help. Are they all really mad because now this now the king's shooting at me. What did I do? You punch one annoying child and all of a sudden everyone wants to kill you. Hey, I haven't forgotten about our business, old Ben. Maybe I can get them all to calm down if I just go downtown. I'm rich, so the robots will protect me. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Take this. Oh, well, Ben has the confidence now to attack us. He pushed. Old Ben, push up a few more steps. Holy crap, wait, this might work. Because then I can at least get them off my back and I won't get punished for it. Or what if they shoot the robot? One down. No, old Ben's running. Unless they go. Yeah! <laughs> yes! I'm free! Woo! I have my own personal army. You don't have to do the main quest to get a hold of these guys. Thank you for visiting New Vegas. Thank you for protecting me. Nice try, old Ben. Look at it. Look at him. They Lieutenant Danned him. That's what you get. Mess with me? They say a man should always dress for the job he wants. So why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because partner. some hacker stole my identity. Now I'm in here every Thank you, Tom, sir. and I see should have gone to free credit report.com. I could have seen this coming at me like an atom bomb. They monitor your credit and send you email alerts. So I think this is the best one. Up selling fish to tourists in t shirts. I think that's the best one. Ashley, good to see you. Thank you for four months. Hey, hey, I had to play that song to the there too, because Dean Martin is probably going to claim the VOD now. Weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well... Just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. There he is. Waiting for me to cross the threshold so the quest can update and his character AI can begin moving forward. What if we just don't? Will Benny perpetually be stuck at the top of the stairs forever? Oh, never mind. There it goes. So you guys are saying I need to get to f 10 skill points. Why do I get less skill points now? 
I swear, I was getting 12 skill points every level. Now I'm getting 10. I gotta level up like four more times without putting a single point into explosives. You get 12 every other level. Ugh. That sucks. All right, fine. We'll go repair 19. I'm gonna run to the bathroom, though, before we talk to Benny. It's because it isn't a good game. <laughs> Zach, you're gonna start a civil war. Yeah, it's because it sucks. This game's ass. <laughs> this game sucks. Well, uh, I'll be back in two seconds. Grinning. Good to see you all. How'd you all hold up? Chair do a good job? Was he, was he behaving? You do you do alright? Oh god, first bathwater, now chair essence. Wait a minute. It's a great idea. What if I give my chair a bath? Just let it sit in the tub for a bit. And then we sell the bath water. Un it might be an unlimited Thank you, money Tom, hack. <laughs> Chair bar. Chair bath. Welcome to the tops. How can Thank you, Zach. Good to see you. Really? 12 months? Get out of here. It's a while. Chair called me a sl How dare you? All right, chair's banned. Chair's banned from tra chat. Chat. Trash? I almost called you. I combined chat and trash. Chair's out. We don't do that, Chair. Oh, I feel so free. Ah, playing New Vegas while standing. Let's do some gambling. Let's make some money. How many chips would you like? Eight chips. Here's your chips. Okay, let's do. That's really all the NCR money I have. How many? Let's not start with a crazy amount. Let's challenge ourselves a little bit to make money with low money. My luck isn't insanely high either. Did I wipe my booty? Don't you worry.
Okay, my luck is at eight. Hello. Let's play. Let's roll it. Nineteen. Dealer showing eight. We stay. By the book. Oh, get out of here. 19 again? Mm. We stay. Thirteen. Dealer showing five, but I've got eight luck. Sixteen? Ah, oh, whatever. This game is rigged. Let's double our bet. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. 11, double down. Okay, I'll show you. I'm all in. Nine? 19? Oh, you stupid casino. I hate this place. I'm going to go get more money. I will come back. I will recover. Welcome to the tops. How can I help? Here's your chips. Okay. Forget that last strategy about starting with limited money and working our way up from there. Seventeen. Oh my gosh, I forgot. You can hit on the dumbest hands. Nine. Fifteen. Why not? Let's hit again. Seventeen. Let's hit again. Okay, I bust. Damn, I'm getting... Okay, I'm getting ran out of the house here. Fifteen? Yeah, hit. Hit me. Twenty-one! I should have doubled down. All right, we're almost back into the uh, positive. 19. I'm not doubling down. All right, we're on top. We've got some money now. This is not life advice. Do not gamble like this. 18. Let's see a three. Okay, that was dumb. That was dumb. I don't do that. What is that a uh, 15? Oh man. Oh, I won. I don't know how I won. I thought I bust. I didn't. House can't beat me. Double down. No nah, shit. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. We're good. We're up a decent amount now. 12. Hmm. Yeah. Double down. All right, Blackjack's kind of, it's just not as fun as Caravan. We got the XP though, that's nice. Let's do a little bit of roulette. Let's really lose our money. Is the bee's knees. Fold every hand, You? why would I fold every hand? Wait, what is that? Can I win two games at the casino? How is that? Of course I'm gonna win two games. What's a number? What what number should we have? Should we be uh, should we be double zero weirdos? Thirty two. Give me that max bet. What's the most I can put on roulette? For all the marbles, give me double zero. Let's just get kicked out of the casino in one roll. All right, 0 for 1, but that's okay. We have 772 
more chips left. Oh, do I have to increase this every time? It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. All right, we can do this eight more times. Except every time I gotta re-increase the current bet to 200. Come on. Oh, oh man, I thought it was gonna hit. Come on, it was, we were close. We're almost there. We could lose this a hundred times. It hits one time, it pays for everything. I'm the richest man on the strip. Okay, let's do, let's do a chat gamble. Let's cancel the current gamble we're doing and chat, you guys can play roulette here. Let's do red or black, all right? If it hits green, I win. If it hits red or black, whoever gambles on it in chat wins. All right, let, just let chat bet red or black. You get, you know, two options. We'll get you guys in on this. If, if we do have a... Uh... Ink Demon, are you out there? Are you able to set that up? Sorry to put the pressure on you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, welcome. I know we're at a blackjack table now, but let's just pretend I'm the dealer at a roulette table, okay? Red or black, what do you got? I'm glad I still have this scene. I haven't used it in a while. Oh, and I'm, now that I have more range of motion, my hands don't have to get cut off here. Red or black, what do you got? What do you got? Get serious now. Think about it. It's going to hit double zero green. You're all going to lose anyway. What happens if it hits green? Who loses? Put your imaginary money on the line. Uh, oh my God, there's a 300,000 channel points on the line that quickly. How do we make everyone in chat lose their channel points? House has to win. It's black, black 31. Please collect your earnings. Remember if you have lost, you can still make your money back. Let's run it again. Run it again, run it again. We'll do this a handful of times. But then, then you all gotta stop yelling at me about gambling, okay? I had four points. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. This is good practice though for when I go to Vegas. Should I try and get at least one? Should I do one gamble for you all while I'm in Vegas? Bring Twitch to Vegas. I don't know if I can do that. I could do like one roulette spin for y'all. You're going to make a lot of money in Vegas if they have caravan. God, I wish they did. I assume you guys have all your money in. Oh wait, did we not run it back? Can we can we run the uh, gamble back so everybody can play? Oh, we did. All right, let's roll it. Give me double zeros. Red. Red comes back to tie it. If you lost your money on black, you are back in the game. Red with a winner. We're all tied up 1-1. One, one.
However, now I'm negative. I'm minus 28 chips. Two wins. All right, let's run it back one more time. My wife is gonna leave me? No, you guys, stop it. Okay. You've, you're fine, all right? Put it all on, but go all in. I wanna see somebody go all in. Honey, I lost all of our Juve chips. Okay, somebody went in really heavy. Look at this. This isn't even 50-50. If you're not putting money on red here, I don't know what you're doing. It's free money. This isn't 50-50, right? You have house edge if you go red right now. The amount you can win betting on red, you could bet 10 to win 50 if you bet on red right now. Way more in it. Come on, double zero. It's red! Oh, a huge win for red. Oh, that is a massive, massive win for red. Ooh. Ooh, that's a tough loss. That's a tough, tough loss. Let's redistribute that wealth a little bit, huh? Let's do one more. I, I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is quite fun seeing you all either go broke or make a shitload of money. <laughs> Going to Disney World. I can't wait for the weird alert like Twitch one time it'll glitch out and be like instead of channel points being better it'll say somebody actually put the deed to their house on the table. One more. Let's let it ride. Is there anybody who's gotten all three of them? If it's green we just call it a push and cancel the bet. Can I bet my lizard? Sure. Sure. I don't know where they go though. Maybe we just build an exhibit at the casino? I assume every, I think, I think all the submissions are in. Let's let it spin. Come on. It's right there. You're so close to double zero. I want it so bad. I want it. <clears throat> it goes to black. Uh, my character's luck is eight, but I don't think that roulette is actually affected by luck in New Vegas. Okay, I can do this three more times. I'm doing this until I run out of chips. So let's do it three more times here. Damn, I really do. I really bounce back and forth a lot when I'm standing, don't I? Let it ride. Put your money on the table. Let's go. Let's see who's a big winner, who's a loser. Time to find out who the cowards are in chat. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I don't know. We're in Vegas. And also, channel points are fairly inconsequential. Oh, why are we doing this in game? For fun. Because we can. No real reason, honestly. No real goal here. We're just fucking around. Fall at New Vegas, but no gambling when? I don't know if I could ever do that. It's weird. I don't like. I don't really like gambling that much outside of just virtual fake, you know, for fun stuff. It's black again.
Who won? I'm ruined. <laughs> I do get a kick out of it too. The uh, the gambling role players in chat. They are quite funny. All right, let's run it back two more times, Ink. Thank you. Everybody say thank you to Ink Demon for being such a help with these. Genuinely, thank you. Yeah, right. Role players. Get them on in there. I don't really have too many good gambling tunes. Thank you, kind sir. Juvi lost enough money to drink and drive home. No, d please, please don't do that. No, that's dangerous. Do not advise that. Oh, hold on. There's a few more seconds. Get your bets in. We only got two more of these. And then I can sit down again. We can bring chair back. Chair will... Look, you can even see there's a little bit of chair. Right. There. Right there. Chair's just on brief suspension. Come on, double zero. You, dude, we're getting so close, but it's red again. Red 36, congratulations. Chair apology video. <clears throat> All right, one more, last round. Let's get this out of the way. Tired of dealing with all this background noise. It's hard to fill the silence. Eerie. Dark Dragon, thank you for the prime. Please don't drink and drive. Putting it all on red. This is the last round, so we need some people going all in. We need some big money makers. We need some losers. A lot of people are going to be heartbroken, but a lot of people are going to be excited. This is your time to make or break it. This is where your destiny is made. Or. All of your hopes are crushed. Will your Twitch children be going to college? Or will they... be forever disappointed? For all the marbles, here we go. Also, if you have been winning and you didn't go all in here, I just want you to know that you have ruined the essence of Twitch gambling. Here we go, final spin. Where's my button? Not a good one. Fuck it, just spin it. And we got an achievement in game. Give me double zero. <sighs> but it's black. I don't know who won. Hello. 300 XP, I'll take it. <laughs> the immediate reactions are funny every time. Any other... There's got to be other ways to get some XP. Right? Can't we play slots? What are the challenges? General. Ah, challenges. There we go. Damage other. It's probably in here. Kill damage other. Thank you, kind sir.
complete quest one out of five. Oh, it probably that one you can do multiple times. No one to fold them. Lose. Oh, I can lose two hands a caravan. Whatever. Welcome to the tops. How is does anybody know if there is one for slot machine? I'm just burning all my money. I came here to get grenades and instead we're just gambling. We probably only have to do what, 10 spins? One arm bandit. What did I win? I won anything there really. One fifty. Ben, have a good sleep. Thank you for gambling with us today. Easy 300 XP. Welcome to the tops. How can Yeah, I'll take my caps and NCR money. Does anybody do that? Is there is there like a point or an advantage? to turning your caps into NCR money other than like maybe role playing. No hey, everybody. The boss. Got it? Rest in peace, legend. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves like smooth little babies. I'll never understand that line. <laughs> Has that ever been a phrase ever? Let's keep this in the groove. Smooth moves like smooth little babies. What? Excuse me. No one says that. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or are you just thick skulled. Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere as more private like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Nah, I don't want to do that. To start, I'll comp you the presidential, best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Where's my manners? Here's some cash up front. There'll be more where that came Sweet, from. that'll finance my Wait gambling losses. The presidential suite. We got a future together, you and me. It's time we got started. Oh, I got my oh, eye rap. on you. So no funny business. Dude, isn't that your boss? Keep those hands where I can see them. I love the voice change. Keep those hands where I can see it. He did the uh, the oblivion beggar thing. Thank you, kind sir. I've heard that they're recruiting for the fighter skilled. What nonsense! All right, I guess we'll head up to Benny's place. We don't get to talk to him up here, though. He's gonna jump us. I think I'll be better just punching. I should have taken the boxing gloves from the Lucky 38, although I still wouldn't get 
wouldn't be able to use them in here. They'd take them away. Unless they count. Do boxing gloves count as a stash weapon? Baby, this little meet and greet of ours chalk me up as a no-show. It would be 41 flavors of stupid to let you get a drop on me. And you've caused plenty enough trouble as is. You forced my hand. Hell, I gotta skip town because of you. A real pain in the caboose. A lifelong learner is you, eh? Then make your questions count because your lifelong is running life short. But I'm, I'm not mad. Wait, I mean this. I'm not trying to convince him. Color me unconvinced. The safe bet is to cash you out. Baby, getting outplayed and getting cheated ain't the same thing. I get it. You're sore. A crumb's life is painful, full of disappointments. That temper of yours. Kind of why this conversation's taking place over an intercom. Do me a favor and stay dead this time, eh? Good night, all. It's been a gas. It's been a gas. Over here! Uh, I don't know if I don't know if I'm getting out of this one. I'm just gonna calmly take my... Oh god, this might be the first time I die. Wait, no, I don't wanna die yet. I'm too passionate about permadeath. I know it's not actually a permadeath run, but if I can avoid death, I will. No! I've blown it, I'm a fraud! Watch out. Okay, maybe we can still escape here. I dig this crazy slang. <laughs> I think we're safe. I think we're good. I wonder where Benny ran off to. Yeah, same. How's it hanging? Oh, crap. Wait, I didn't even get the chip. Damn it. Hey, there's the high roller. He took the chip with him. She was just digging the crazy slang. I know, no digging the slang. Not while I'm here. Hey. Who was that? Are there, are there ghosts in here? Actually, let him get away. I got swindled. The eyes of the mighty Kaisa are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. I haven't seen Kaisa the Legion will not at all. This mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the strip and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. Why? Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Corsor Lucullus will be waiting. Does, does Benny? Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Hey, there's a Legion guy. Uh, hey, right there. Really important Legion guy. You could... No. You didn't overhear the entire conversation there? All right. Sorry, I'm here to have a good time, not talk to random people. <laughs> All right, thanks, dude. Is he he's trying to sell the chip to Caesar, right? Get your weapons back? I should have them back, right? Yeah, we're good. Got my power fist back. 
All right, Ambassador Crocker, you know, I don't really like that he just gives me a note. Doesn't make me feel like he's confident in my abilities. Damn, Cottonwood Cove is so far. Like, I gotta haul ass no matter which route I take. I haven't even been to Nipton. I guess I could... We could go to Mojave Outpost. I don't think they really care anymore. They've forgiven all of my crimes. Hello. They're pretty chill with the fact that we killed all the uh, NCR guys at the uh, Powder Ganger's place. And I guess that counts as doing ghost mission. I just want to get the XP. You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Wait, really? Return to Ranger Ghost at the Mojave Outpost. You check out the Nipton Town. Okay, maybe it's glitched. Maybe I still actually have to go to Nipton. I kind of want to just go see Caesar. It's kind of weird though. We see Vulpus on this strip and we're just gonna run into him again in like five minutes. scrolling chat when I do that uh, I think I missed this one a while ago but Dark Dragoon thank you very much for the prime why did he say Caesar wrong I'm talking about Vulpus uh, they're just kind of cosplaying It's like when I, every now and then, like to pretend that I know how to speak Brazilian uh, just by throwing out a few things like Botargi, Bon Dia, you know, just because I took a class one time. These guys kind of do the same thing with Latin. Decent mid-tier level encounter right here. It's also repeatable. If you were looking to just get some free XP in the middle of a playthrough. Free loot and money. Right around the corner here. Do I have dynamite? I think I have one. And we took out a bird. Not that it really matters. I just think it's kind of cool. They're so much harder to dodge than the arrows in Skyrim. back down all right chair get over here
Chair's back in the game. Used a quick revive on him. <gasps> wait, wait, what's going on? What's going on? Is this the bottle caps encounter? This guy's shooting at this person, but this person's shooting at a bug? Now she's shooting at him? Oh yeah, they're both gonna have the bottle caps and I want them. Jacqueline. Okay, okay, I'm helping. I'm, I mean, I'm trying. I don't really have... I don't have too many things I can help out with. Oh, my hotkeys are all gone. So the worst part about the casinos is they get rid of the hotkeys. Thank God you came around. That guy was gonna kill me. Are you all right? I am now. I was just minding my own business heading west when that psycho came out of nowhere and started shooting. He kept shouting about stars or something. Does that make any sense to you? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. Caps are caps, right? Liar! Look, I think I need a few moments to compose myself, then head out. Once again, thanks. Hell yeah. <laughs> Easy. Sucker. What? Oh! Hey! Come on, you didn't catch me. She is slow. No wonder you can run away from him. She didn't have to attack me. I had the caps. I had it all. Also, she insulted me. She insults me. She calls me a bad word. The real reason I'm excited about being here is we get to run into our new friend. Okay, let's just follow him and try to keep him alive. I don't really know where he goes. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Never felt better. Yeah! What lottery? The lottery, that's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my God, smell that air! <laughs> Powder ganger, what? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner. I won the motherfucking lottery! <laughs> Bye. B Bye. All right, let's see where he goes. He's a powder ganger, so I mean, we support our own. I'm not gonna kill him or do anything stupid. Hold on, there's an encounter over here. I think there's more jackals. Oh my God, he's fast. Dude. Oh, no, 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 no. He's gonna run into, ah, oh, crap. I don't have any grenades, and I'm not going to be able to outrun him. Don't worry, Oliver. I'll protect you. Just don't run forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go that way. Good. Smart call. That's definitely the right call. He's just going to go back to the, the Legion. Screw the lottery. Put me on the cross. It's safer up there. Okay, he's fleeing, but where is he going? Hey. Hey, what's up, man? Stop bothering me, will ya? <laughs> I won the fucking lottery! I didn't know he had more dialogue. Bye. Okay, now, okay, he's going back out here. He's probably just gonna start fleeing again. Eh, yep, yeah, yeah, he's cowering.
Oh, dude, no, you pushed up too close. Oliver, stop running so fast. Okay, one down. No, Oliver, Oliver. Oh, what a shot. God damn it, get out of the kill cam. Reload, sluggish reload. Okay, I'm gonna quick save here. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard because the giant red scorpion is gonna come out of nowhere. We have to close the up. There's like seven of them, dude. I need dynamite. Why would you run this way? There's a road over there. Okay, run back to safety. Where'd he go? Okay, he's still pretty far. Oh god. Oh god, there's a red scorpion closing in on him. How much damage did I do? None. How the hell did they get close so quickly? Uh-oh. Ah! Uh. Oliver, you doing alright? Okay, that red scorpion seems to be engaged in a new tactic. He's going with a vertical attack pattern. Oliver's still running. He's safe for now. I can't penetrate their armor. God, now, yeah, run towards him, dude. A uh, bad idea. Missed. Where'd Ollie go? Okay, he's running back towards, he's going to a safer location, but it's still probably dangerous back there. Oh. Okay, I'm not getting out of this one. It was a good effort though. Turbo, rebound, anything in here that can save me? No. Valiant effort, but no. What difficulty is this on? We're playing on hard. I guess I could switch it to very easy. Damn it, it takes us back here, though. Saved Oliver? Not quite yet. If he starts running that direction, he's... Dude. Okay. All right. Now he goes back this way. Looks like only a couple of them see us. This one's going to aggro. I think that's good, though. I think we want this one to push him in this direction. Part of me thinks if I kill it, I feel like if I kill it, he'll just run back that direction. But like, what's his plan? Where is he going? If there were no red scorpions there, where does he go? Hey buddy. You okay? God, he is just gonna run back. This guy is a moron. Like, dude. He's telling me to cut it out. Can we frenzy them? Or is this one already frenzied? We are making some distance here. Like he's taking a new route this time. He's getting deeper into the desert. Oh God, there's the big boy. 
Uh, he's running towards him. Worth every septum. He goes down by the plane. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a... Uh... Oh, shit. Run, Oliver! Okay, I think he's too fast for the giant red scorpion. Don't run into the rock! You're not gonna have the route! Ah, uh, no, he's gonna get caught on something. Once he does, the red scorpion catches up. Unless the geckos come in to fight the red scorpion. Yes, the geckos are teaming up. They're on the red scorpion. Go, Oliver. Now's your opportunity. Run for freedom. No, oh, no, 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 the geckos. Oliver, you're screwed. Reload, reload. How much damage can I do? Uh, not much at all. There's Oliver. I don't think there's anything behind me. I could just go. Oh, wow, that thing turned quickly. So if they're going to turn and attack me, we go Medex, Jet. Let's get some of our AP back. Let's double up on Jet. Psycho. Rebound. We get a little bit of strength if we drink some booze. Let's go booze. Squirrel on stick. Take that off. Quick save. We got the leg crippled. Okay, one leg crippled. Where's Oliver? Is he dead? Where'd he go? He's not moving. He's doing the sad boy walk. Scorpion distracts. I can't find him. I, I don't see him. Ollie? How did I lose him that quickly? I'm really upset. Just because we played that so perfectly. Man, come on. This new Dune movie is wild. Let's get some height. I think we can reasonably get out of this. Look, okay, if I load this quick save, he's right there. He's in the shot. There's photo evidence of Oliver's last known position. I don't think he died. If he died, he would have landed somewhere around here. Ah, oh, piss off, Red Scorpion. Ow. Was that my character grunting? All right, I'm gonna load that save again. You can see him in the quick save screenshot. 
on the left hand side. When I saved, he just disappeared. There's a door? Holy shit, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 hold on, what the fuck? No, he, I must have quick saved the split second. He had to have gone in there. He had to have just, his AI probably decided to go into the hole. Oliver? Okay, he's gonna follow me in. We still got a cripple. Please be in here, come on. Oh, red scorpion queen. Oh, holy shit. There's a lot of them. That's not Oliver. That's not Oliver. Is that Oliver? That's not Oliver. What the hell? So did he not go in there or did he go in and then did he leave immediately? go into the burrow oh god you dumbass he's gonna go in again okay let's let them aggro oh god he's going <laughs> the gecko's going after oliver don't why why okay you two you figure it out and kill each other we cripple the gecko you know what let's just let's kill him Kill the gecko, quick save, out the door. Where is he? No! No, 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 don't let me lose him. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. No! How can you kill a god? No! Shame on you, sweet I screwed up the saves. I screwed up the saving there. I'm so upset. He's dead. Play the music. <laughs> which which one? No, no, I will not lose him. Oh, God, but the free side save. We lose an hour. We lose all the gambling. Hmm, I don't think there's any way. He's alive. No, he's not alive. He has no help. <laughs> no, don't, please don't die. Wait, he is alive. He has a sliver of health. He has just enough health left. <laughs> we have a chance to get him out of this. We need the gecko hunter to immediately attack us. Hind leg is already crippled. There's no rad scorpions. Attack me. I know what to do. Okay, so. I do have one more save. Oh crap, the autosave is as I leave. 
I need the autosave right when I went into into the uh, into the nest for the first time. And like, look at that! Boom! That quickly, he's dead. But unfortunately, I don't know where all these idiots came from. How the hell do I get him out of that? I mean, he's targeting Oliver. So we would have to go hit there to aggro. We'd have to take the giant scorpion and try to aggro, but I have no AP. He's still alive. This one's probably going to get a hit. Giant red scorpion either gets a hit. I don't think I have any... Okay, all that pausing might have broken their brains for like half a second there. Can I frenzy a red scorpion? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. How the hell did Oliver Swanick even make it to adulthood? <laughs> How did they survive for 20, 30 plus years in the wasteland? So if I can frenzy a giant red scorpion, uh, I'm only going to have one hit. Might be easier to frenzy the little one. Go, Oliver. Oliver, wrong way! I hate this guy. I hate him. I'm doing everything in my power to try and save you, buddy. But why do that? That makes no sense to me. I think we can get lucky here, though. I think if we just spam this, look at he gets he gets enough time to move. He's running. They all go after the Gecko Hunter. Well, I don't know what the hell Turbo does, but I'll take it. Critical chance plus five. I'll take that. Rebound. Psycho again. Medex. I'll just take all the jet that I can. Atomic cocktail. Don't think that really helps us out that much. He's still alive. I'm not sure why the camera's moving in slow motion. This way, other way, other way, other way, Oliver. Why is, why is everything, <gasps> Turbo? All right, so Turbo does slow down time. It's not gonna give me enough time to kill them. Yeah, I have to use Vats. Something happens with Vats where it slows down the game enough and it gives him time to get out of there. Oh, whatever, yeah, now you're addicted, sure. I 
think I have an idea. We go turbo. Quick save again. Now we're gonna come back into our save with all the drugs active. Time slowed. Not as much AP as I want. God damn it, Oliver. He got inside. He got inside. I think he just got killed, though. And there he is. So I wonder if I load that autosave again. There's our boy. He's alive. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Close up view of Oliver Swanick. He's still here. Now, I don't know if we're getting out of this one. Yeah, look at that. Look at that jawline. This is an alpha. You run into you run into this in the waistline. Waste wasteland wasteline. Oh, I shot him in the face. <laughs> Sorry, Oliver. Oh, he goes down immediately. He's already dead. He might be dead as we come through that. So one thing I'm gonna try is this save. If time is still slowed, we go power fist because of the damage. We can one shot. He got in, he got inside. No! Oh, 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 oh! We might have a chance here! No, I gotta get the heals out quick. It's hard. You get caught in the punching animation. I'm locked in now. We're getting this. I did not mean to punch the gecko. Let's take some vodka, increase our strength. Hit the super stim pack before we take damage here. Just pause the game so we can think. No clue where Oliver's at, but he's gotta be alive. Easiest solution would be to just lower the difficulty. I really don't want to, though. I want to get through this on hard. I think that half second costs us. Got my inventory out too late. But you know what we didn't take? Critical chance. We didn't take that. Melee weapon plus 10. Oh, damn it. This is unarmed. Is there anything in here that can help us like right away? Perception, intelligence, damage resist. I think I have all this stuff already taken. I could, after I take my first hit, take anti-venom. That might be able to buy us a quarter of a second, if that. I'm gonna go for the big one.
think Oliver's dead. Damn it, I'm scrolling chat now. Ollie? Ollie, you alive? I don't see a dead body. We get the timing. Apparently that's gonna one tap. Let's try and get both the giants. Fuck. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! All right, Ollie. Come on. We're almost there. Lights at the end of the tunnel. You and me, they're gonna come through that door, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna box them. Oh, no, 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 no! I lost my autosave. Oh, we gotta do it again. I don't know, I don't think anyone hit him, but it's like, instant. However, knowing that we have this book that gives us critical hit chance, that's massive. He died. Ah, I'm dead. Shit, man, this is really tough. We're so close, though. Don't ask why I'm so passionate about getting this. I already fucked this one up. He turned around, he ran back towards him and got himself killed. Oliver, Oliver, move! <laughs> he just runs back into the fight to die. I think this is a better route. He got inside. He got inside safely. So we know he's gonna be alive for another couple seconds here. Let's go anti-venom. We're not gonna have many more of those. Screw it. Just take them all. I don't care if I'm taking too many. Nice try. Okay, hard save. Come on, please be inside. I have never been so happy to see this dumbass before. Never been so happy. We did 
did it! Huh. Come on, Oliver! You and me, buddy! Best friends forever. Wait, 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 where are you running? Where are you running? Come on, you and me till the end. I'll fight on his behalf. I'll die for Oliver Swanick. Multiple times over. He's just gonna do this the whole time, isn't he? I'm just happy, that's all. I'm excited, we saved him. He's still fleeing though, okay. All right, all right, all right. The action music in game doesn't really, <laughs> it doesn't overlay with other tunes that well. But god damn, is that exciting. We can give ourselves a hard checkpoint here. We gotta focus up again. I'm gonna have to box a few more rad scorpions. I'm hoping I can get my level up here. It's all going into unarmed. Oh, dude, don't, 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 please. Still alive? All goes into unarmed. Stone wall. Cannot be knocked down during combat. That's pretty good. Emotions expert two? Nah. Stone wall seems pretty good. Plus five damage threshold against melee and unarmed. Cannot be knocked down. He's still cowering. He doesn't feel safe yet. Hey. Hey, what's up? Fuck off! Win your own fucking lottery! <laughs> you know how many lotteries you've won today, Oliver? Do you know how many times I have had to save you? I like it. He's being vigilant. Taking that lottery ticket, though. It's mine now, bitch. Keep your head on a swivel. Oh, damn it, did he go into the tunnel again? Please, Oliver. Oh. Evening. Hey, evening. Fuck off! <laughs> when you I won't rest until Oliver feels safe and happy. This one might be alive. Fuck off! Win your own fucking lottery! He's not fleeing anymore. Is this it? Is this where he... Is this where he gives it up? Oh, that was fun. Ungrateful bastard. 
I just wanted to prove a point that we could keep him alive. I just wanted to prove a point. And you know what we did? The most unnecessary. Oh my God, that was a pain in the ass. I mean, we did it. And I, I gotta, I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of thrilling. Just like having the light bulbs go off in my head as we went through it that, oh, wait, he actually goes into the tunnel. There's a brief grace period when he's in the tunnel. Wait, the geckos will fight the red scorpions, which opens up like a two and a half second window of aggro. That it had zero right at all being that fun. Is that guy's laugh remind anyone else of Nelson the bully on The Simpsons? Kinda, I can see it. That kid? Fucking finally. Yeah, I wonder how many people were sitting back in chat like, just kill this guy. Why are you doing this to yourself? It's very satisfying when you're in a really stupid situation and you have to find a combination of drugs and magazines that gets you through it. What is the clock where you are? It is 4.31 p.m. for me right now, local time. We hit Nipton. I guess next time we play this, we go Cottonwood Cove. See what's going on, going on over there. Jabo stream incoming? Uh-oh. I have bad news for Jabo, I'm about to end. Why the hell are they not on the crosses? What do you need? I need you up on the... Did everyone win the lottery? Good to see you, Jabo. Hey, look, none of the powder gangers are on the cross. Does anybody know why? We just got done spending an hour trying to keep Oliver Swanick alive which was awful. It was terrible. Is it a common glitch? I've never seen it. But I can't kill them. I'm a powder ganger at heart. Thank you for sending your stream over, Jabo. Hope it was wonderful. Oh, I don't know if you recognize me from the strip. Thank you, Kaiser. When I had to do the mark of Kaiser. I wasn't wearing a dog's head at the time. Don't worry. I we just saw this guy like five minutes ago. The rest of these degenerates. It's Jono, thank you for the you prime. By. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. Um, <laughs> unfortunately then, though, Jabo, I appreciate on. you sending the stream over. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll stay on their good side for now. Unfortunately, we're gonna stop here. So we'll we'll keep the raid train going. We'll we'll send you guys over to. I don't know. We'll. We'll find someone. Um, but that is going to be it for today's stream. Thank you, everybody who is hanging out. I will probably be live again. Uh, about a, I probably need until Monday. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see. We'll keep the theme of Fallout. Is there anybody playing New Vegas right now? Not too many New Vegas streams. Mm. Techno Slade? I'm unfamiliar. Thanks for the gambas. Oh gosh, I'm not sure.
I don't know if we can play that one. I think that's Cuphead. All right, I'll, 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 uh, I mean, Bulu's streaming. Oh, wait, Naffin. Somebody suggested Naffin. I'll send you to Naffin. They're playing Fallout 3. Get out of here. Remember to be kind. Don't be a dick. Be respectful. Thank you, Walt. We'll talk soon.